Hi, today we're gonna take a look at how to add mixed numbers with like denominators. Let's start with a quick review. A mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. For example, one third is a proper fraction, given that the numerator one is less than the denominator three. Nice! In the first example, we need to add five and one third plus four and one third. As you can see, these two mixed numbers have the same denominator. The key to solve this problem is to remember that a mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So first, we're going to rewrite the mixed number five and one third as the sum, as the sum of a whole number, five in this case, and a proper fraction, one third over here. Yep, that is right. We can rewrite the mixed number five and one third as the sum of a whole number, five, and a proper fraction, one third, here we put the plus sign, and now we do exactly the same with four and one third. We're going to rewrite this mixed number as the sum of a whole number, four, and a proper fraction, one third, one third. Next, we put the whole numbers at the beginning. Five come over here, then we have four over here. Now we put the fractions at the end, one third in this position, and one third, one third, one more time. Here we have, 5 plus 4, give us 9, 9, that is correct, plus, ooh, 1 third plus 1 third. These two fractions have the same denominator, 3 over here, 3 over here, 3, one more time, and next we add the numerators, 1 plus 1, give us 2. Pay attention to this line, because here we have the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. So finally, we're going to rewrite the sum of 9 and 2 thirds as a mixed number 9 and 2 thirds. 2 thirds, that's it, that's it. Therefore, 5 and 1 third plus 4 and 1 third give us 9 and 2 thirds. Let's continue with another example. In the second example, we will find the sum of 4 and 3 eighths and 2 and 1 eighth. We already know the steps. First, we rewrite the mixed number 4 and 3 eighths as the sum of a whole number four in this case, and a proper fraction, three eighths, three eighths, we put the plus sign over here, and we do the same with two and one eight. We rewrite this mixed number as the sum of a whole number, two, and a proper fraction. The fraction will be one eight. Next, we put the whole numbers at the beginning, four and two. And then the fractions at the end, the fractions are three eighths, three eighths, and one eight. Perfect. Over here, 4 plus 2 give us 6 plus, now we need to add these two fractions with like denominators, 8 on the left, 8 on the right, 8 on this side, and we continue by adding the numerators, and 3 plus 1 give us 4. Here we have the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction, why don't we rewrite the sum of 6 and 4 eighths as a mixed number 6 and 4 eighths, nice! Finally. Don't forget that the fraction in the resulting mixed number must be in simplest form. So we need to simplify 4 eighths dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number, by 4. We put the whole number over here one more time, we cannot simplify the whole number, and then comes 4 divided by 4, give us 1. Over here, 8 divided by 4, give us 2. The answer is 6 and 1 half. In that way, 4 and 3 eighths plus 2 and 1 eighth give us 6 and 1 half. Let's move on to the last example. This is the last example, I promise. Here we will find the sum of 8 and 3 fifths and 9 and 4 fifths. First, we will write the mixed number 8 and 3 fifths as the sum of a whole number 8 and the proper fraction 3 fifths. 3 fifths. Next, we put the plus sign and over here we do the same. We will write the mixed number 9 and 4 fifths as the sum of a whole number 9 and a proper fraction 4 fifths. Next, we put the whole numbers at the beginning. The whole numbers are 8, 8, and 9. Then comes 3 fifths, and also the second fraction, 4 fifths. 4 fifths. Here we have 8 plus 9. 8 plus 9 give us 17. 17, that is correct. And then we need to add these two fractions with like denominators. 5 over here, 5 over here, 5 one more time. And we continue by adding the numerators. And 3 plus 4 give us 7. 7. At this point, we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 
7 fifths is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 7 is greater than the denominator 5. Since we don't want an improper fraction in the final answer, we need to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Ready? How many times does 5 go into 7? How many times does 5 go into 7? Well, 5 goes into 7 one time. And then we multiply. 1 times 5, 5. To get 7, we need to add 2. Once again, 1 times 5, 5. To get 7, we need to add 2. Finally, the denominator stays the same. 5, come over here. Perfect. Now we put the 17. Don't forget 17. And here we have the sum of a whole number and a mixed number. Don't worry, we just need to follow the same steps we have seen in the previous examples. We'll start by adding the whole numbers. 17 plus 1 give us 18. 18. And we continue by adding the fractions. But wait a second, we only have one fraction over here, and that fraction is 2 fifths. 2 fifths. The final answer is 18 and 2 fifths. In that way, 8 and 3 fifths plus 9 and 4 fifths give us 18 and 2 fifths. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out that playlist. Over here, you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!